Hi, welcome back to Crafty Little Things. I'm Andrea and I'm still full of cold. Um, <laughs> it's becoming a bit of a theme now, isn't it? Um, my craft room is in real dire need of a tidy up, so I'm sorry if things if they encroach onto the space, but I'm just surrounded by stuff. Right, today for my little Valentine's project, really sorry, but I've got a, quite a lot of congestion on my chest, so I'm breathing quite heavily, sound like I'm about to go into labour or something. Um, but I'm hopefully it will improve. Just try and push some bits out of the way. Um, right, so let me just have a little shift to one side. There we go. Right, what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a project using these little hearts because they're so lovely. <laughs> and so I'm just going to make a little bag to drop these little hearts into. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Painted Love DSP because I just want to use this because I love it. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it yet, but I'm going to use it. Um, mm, really nice sweet. And I'm going to use this Easy Rents stamp set, which is retired, but again, I just love it. So I'm going to use Sending You Love, I'm going to use the tree with a little heart on. And I'm also going to use that for, for something else, I think, in a minute. Maybe not, we'll see. Right, so I just want to make, all I want to do is I want to make a little, just a little gift bag. That's all I want to make. So I'm going to show you how to make just a little gift bag. Now how big a gift bag do you need for an ever diminishing little stack of jelly hearts? Not a very big one. So if we think um, about, not about three inches high, about about an inch deep. Two inches deep, about two, um, what about three? So, if that's how we're going to make it, and we're just going to make it a simple gift bag, then we need, we need three, four, five, six, seven, and then ten, ten and a half by three which is going to go up um that's going to be quite a sizable bag isn't it i'll probably just make it an inch deep so that's six seven eight and a half eight point five by three so if it was like three inches high quite a squat little bag isn't it and we'll put some sort of cute little clip on the top or something what do you reckon to that? Yeah, we'll go with that. So let's just try that. So. Hmm. Yeah. Right, so we want it to be working this way. So we're going to do our eight and a half this way. And this DSP is such good quality, it's, oh, we don't need it by three, We need because we need to flap a little bit underneath, so we need it by four. Should we leave it at that? Hmm, I know. So three by four. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a piece of, um, a scrap piece of Whisper White. And I'm just going to cut that as a two inch piece. Okay. And I'm going to cut it four inches by two inches. And we'll see what I'm going to do with that in a minute. I'm just having ideas now. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. And that's it. That's it. That's all we need. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the scoreboard. And I still haven't found my little stylus. So I'm going to have to use... I have got other styluses, but, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just use my bone folder, which, of course, I can't find. And you know how many times I lose my bone for a day? It's covered in gunk. And I'm going to do half an inch. And then what did we say it was going to be? Three. So then three and a half. And then we were doing it an inch deep, weren't we? So four and a half. And then seven and a half. And then on the long side, we're just going to score at one. So we're going to score at three, sorry. Okay. So make sure you keep your paper going the right direction because I'm not sure if this is supposed to look like a tire shred or a wall. It looked like a wall to me first and now it looks like a tire shred. So let's put this out of the way. And now I'm just going to, it's a really, really simple project this. So I'm just going to fold and burnish. My score lines. You see how thick this paper is. It's not like paper at all, it's like cardstock. So it might not be the best to try and make a little bag out of <laughs> because it's a bit thick. It might have been easier to just make a box out. Right, so then take my scissors and as always with this sort of design you trim away this little corner piece here and then you just notch in your little flap that's going to be used to stick it together and then just cut up your little score lines and I am going to notch those in because it's very bulky and I don't want a lot of bulk so I'm going to I mean, it's it's very thick cardstock, so it has the potential to be a lot of bulk, and I don't want a lot of bulk. So I'm going to pop those out, and then the the back piece I'm also going to notch out. I'm just going to leave the front piece where I don't notch anything out because I want that to stay nice and square. Okay. So, there we go. It's not going to be a little box more than a bag, isn't it? Now, what I want to do with this is I want to make this into, I'm going to tag top it and I'm going to put it over the top of the little bag, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to get my tag top to punch. I'm just going to pop one end of that into there so that I, don't, I know where my tag top is. And so that will just go over the top there, like so. So I need to maybe just give it a little score. Use a ruler or use this and give it a little score at one inch. And then at two inches because that'll just help it to wrap over the top there. So just burnish those score lines. And then that'll just wrap over the top there, just as a little fastener. So what I do need to do is make myself a little decide how I'm going to fasten it now I'm going to fasten it I'm going to have a little piece of ribbon coming through there so I just need to sort of get an idea of where that ribbon is going to come through so if I just wrap that around put it in the middle in between these two score lines kind of get it central and then I just make a mark on on the box here 
and then I can now I just want to make a little hole there it won't go through with one another so. what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the small setting my one eighth of an inch and where I've done that mark there I'm going to put a, a hole at each end of that I can tell you exactly how far in that is if you want so that when you're doing it yeah so we're exactly one and a half inches down so I'm going to put one at each end of that little see one at each end of that little mark there <coughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp, I can, I can stick this together now, except for, I'm going to put some ribbon through it. And because it's for Valentine's Day, I'm going to use the gold again that I used in my last project, because I do love it. So I'm just going to pop that through the back there. And it is in keeping with the theme. So now you can stick this together now. So get your Tombow. Gosh, mine is absolutely, it is wretched, my Tombow. I'm actually just going to have to cut the cover off it because it's so bad. It's, it's an embarrassment. I'm just going to put that down there. Fasten that together. And then I'm just going to pop these two little bits down here. So I'll put a little bit of glue on them just to help them stick and put some on there on the front piece. Push that in. This really isn't rocket science, this bag. It's a super easy project. But I just thought, you know, some people have never paper crafted before and want to start learning and so nice beginners project for somebody just showing you how you can make things happen I'm going to just give it a little tiny titchy squeeze now you could finish it there and just stick a little gold clip on the top or something which I've done quite a lot in the past for projects but I'm going to do this overlap um, little fold so what I want to do with this is um, I want to stamp it in fresh fig and I'm going to use, like I said, I'm going to use this, not this, I'm going to use this one, the sending you love and I'm hope. well I'm hoping I'm going to use this one because I'm hoping that it fits, hmm, it doesn't, I'm not going to be using that one then am I, so I'll think of something else, um, Right, I'm gonna use one from here which is Jar of Love and I'm gonna you I'm gonna use you fill me with happiness. Okay. Oh in fact those jars would look great filled with these. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a project with those. Let me just find you fill me with love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh you fill me with happiness. Not you fill me with love. even so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little heart you see the little heart and 
and I'm going to take my distinctly scruffy looking block and I'm going to get I'm going to get berry bursts actually berry burst is such a fab colour it's such a fab colour in fact I could have used berry burst ink with a metallic edge but I got carried away with that and I used it on every project and I thought I might try something different <laughs> so easy to get carried away with one to just get obsessed with one stamp set I mean in a way that's not such a bad thing because if you get obsessed with one stamp set then you're going to get your money's worth out of it aren't you I'm just going to use this stamp set that's got so much in it and I think it's going to end up retiring because the frameworks I think are retiring I go with it I think I think they're done with jars but I'm not so maybe not but just a just a hunch Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that little heart, that little flower, and I'm just going to stamp it off. And then I'm just going to stamp onto the card. And then all that's left to do is attach this to here. Now you can pop these in a little plastic bag, which is what I would advise you to do. And not just chuck them in like I'm going to chuck them in. But I might have to borrow one. Oh, look how cute they look. Oh, and then gone. Just doesn't they look more expensive? And then I'm just going to pop this on the back. You could use tape or what I'm doing. Use a nice big dollop of Tombow. Put this on before you eat the sweets. I mean, before <laughs> before you fill it up probably the best time to put that on but you know where there's a will there's a way don't worry about those sweets in there they're they're um, safe and then I'm just going to pop the tinsel through the back I mean you can either just put one piece through and just tie it like so or you can put both pieces through and tie it in a knot so it doesn't you know a bow so it won't pull through it's up to you I think I might just tie it in let's face it whatever I do it's gonna look rubbish so in fact I'm gonna change my plan straight away and go for the other option because I think the other option would work better for me because I'm not that precise with things. There it is. 
just a little cute little bag of sweeties so it's quite a nice little gift for Valentine's Day <clears throat> for somebody just nicer than just giving them a handful of Haribo isn't it and also you can buy a big bag and they won't know how many you've eaten so that's great so thanks for joining me and we'll be back again soon with another Valentine's project Thank